Hello everyone. This is something I've never really done before, but I recently bought rubber ducky isopods. I already have zebra isopods that I bought recently and I'm trying to breed them, so this is all new for me, but I wanted to try my hand at breeding rubber duckies. So I thought I would make a video showing how I'm going to set it up. I don't, I feel like there's a lot of controversy in how to set up a rubber ducky isopod enclosure. So I'm going to do my best and see what happens. Maybe they'll reproduce, maybe I wasted $200, but let's see. The first thing I wanna do is go over all of the supplies that I bought or stuff that I already had. I keep amphibians and I've kept them for a while. So I already had a lot of supplies that I use for my bioactive frog enclosures. Um, so I guess I'll just start over here. We have sphagnum moss that I got from the bio dude. And again, you don't have to get this from all of these fancy suppliers. I think um, you can get them at Petco or PetSmart or wherever your local pet shop is. But this is sphagnum moss. I got these cork pieces at Jungle Bob's, which is a local uh, reptile shop by me in New York on Long Island. I have this Reptisafe that I use for all my frog tanks to dechlorinate the water. It's a water conditioner, but I use this um, for the sp when I missed the isopod enclosures often. We have some leaf litter and here's some sphagnum moss that I already have soaking in water in the uh, Reptisafe conditioned water. Here's the enclosure that I bought from Jungle Bob's. It's the large enclosure. There were a lot of, oops, there were a lot of uh, air holes in here that were not too big, but big enough where I felt like I needed to put some mesh on the inside to cover up some of the holes. So I did a really janky job duct taping around, um, duct taping some mesh around where the holes are, just around the sides. And there are some at the top that I left open. And I know the big controversy is what kind of substrate to use for the soil. I'm just going with Eco Earth, which I got this giant uh, 24 quart bag at Petco for like $10 or something like that. It's what I used in my zebra isopod um, enclosure. So we're going to see if that works. The only thing that I don't have is garden lime. And I read... And everyone knows that for rubber ducky isopods, they need calcium carbonate, which is limestone. And you can buy calcium carbonate at Home Depot or Lowe's, I support Lowe's, but um, yeah, you just sprinkle it in with the substrate. I'm going to add it on top and I'll keep adding it every once in a while as they go through it. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in the Eco Earth. And actually, yeah, I'm gonna do the Eco Earth. Um, they need a higher humidity is what I've read. So I'm gonna put sphagnum moss on the first third and the last two thirds are gonna be the Eco Earth and everything else. So let's pour some in. out a little bit. Now they normally like a lot of substrate. Um, I had read that they need between three and six plus inches of substrate because they like to dig. Um, this container is pretty small but I've only ordered six of them so I will be switching them to a bigger enclosure once they start to reproduce. But for now that's the dirt or the eco earth. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it that was conditioned with the Reptisafe. So this is my little spray bottle. And we're gonna mix it up. Okay. And now the fun part is getting dirty. Mixing it up so that it's moist, but not soaked. Ugh. 
this is still pretty dry, honestly. They're supposed to have a dry side and a wet side, which is the sphagnum moss side, but I still want it to be a little bit wet. Not bone dry. Okay, so that should be good. So in this side, I'm going to add the sphagnum moss. I soaked a lot. I don't know if it's too much or too little. They might need some more dirt. Let's put some more in. So every once in a while, I'm going to spritz the sphagnum moss with rep safe condition water so that it stays moist. How's it look? Looking good, okay. Next, I'm gonna add some leaf litter to the top. Again, I got this from the bio dude, but he specializes in bioactive terraria, but you can get this anywhere. I think there are ways that you can make it yourself by putting uh, leaves that you collect in the oven. I'm always afraid to do that, so I just buy it. I don't know what that is. I'm going to take it out. Looks good. And then I'm going to get the cork bark. Now, my rubber duckies haven't come in yet. I ordered them the other day, but of course I did it right before Labor Day. So they probably won't ship for two more days. Um, I just felt like I wanted to get it set up before they came. So I'll do another video after they come in with me putting them in and seeing if they like it. And looks good there. All right, there's my enclosure. So we'll see if they like it, we'll see what happens, and I will keep you all updated.